family, welcome back to Larry's and Bingo's. Hope you guys have a great and exceptional day. All right, so just want to talk about the pros and cons of living in Woodbridge, Woodbridge, Virginia. See behind me, me and my brother from another mother, um, Adrian Gonzalez. This is a picture that was taken when we went to um, the Grand Canyon. Shake it up the way again. All right, but anyway, um, it was his first time. He enjoyed himself, and you know that's all that mattered. But he always calls um, Woodbridge, Virginia, a parking lot. <laughs> and I just thought it was the funniest thing. That's why I said, like, you know what, I'm going to have him in the picture as my background. Wish he was actually on uh, Instagram right now because I would definitely uh, love to get his two cents and perspectives. But if, you, if you're from Woodbridge, Virginia specifically, if you're from, if you, or if you live in Woodbridge, Virginia, or if you ever lived in Woodbridge, Virginia, give me your perspective in the comment section. All right, but so here, I'm just going to go over some off the topics because I grew up in Woodbridge, Virginia. Um, pros and cons, all right? So pro, biggest pro is it's a great place for a job market. You're um, 35, 40 minutes away without traffic from Washington, D.C. Um, you're located between uh, two military bases. And um, so there's always jobs regardless of the situation um, when the military base is around. Um, so that that is a big pro you know you got fairfax county next to you one of the richest counties in the country so you have you know obviously if you have a rich county that means you have a rich job market um, prosperity all that good stuff um so you have that is a that is a big pro okay job, that's the majority of the reason why people move to the dmv from northern virginia to washington dc to uh, maryland that's what they call the dmv area um d is for dc m's maryland and d is for virginia if you did not know but anyways, the majority of the reason why people move to the DMV area, either they're serving in the military, um, they have some, some affiliation with um, the federal government, state government, local government, or they work for a private corporation, or they work for a small mom and pop business, or they have their own business themselves. So there's very, you know, various factors. A lot of people own their own government contract companies and they do a lot of business, right? So that's the main reason why a lot of people move to the um, DMV area. So, I, so that's the pro. The con, this is a con for a lot of people. Because I grew up with this, I don't care. Um, Virginia has a income state tax, so a lot of people don't like that, all right? Great. It's not the end of the world. But definitely it's not as high as New York State or California. I think it's reasonable compared to most states that have an income state tax. It's not as not as egregious and aggressive as California or uh, New York State, and that's why a lot of people have left those states, especially people who have um, are remote workers. And I'm sure even during the pandemic, a lot of people have left Maryland and left DC and left Virginia and got a remote job and moved to a state where there's no income state tax because they're like, hey, I'm saving money because I'm not, because uh, if, imagine if you left Virginia and moved to New York or California, then you have to, and as a um, remote worker, you'd be paying, you'd basically be taxed twice and whatnot from the state of Virginia um, or Maryland or DC or um, well, I don't think there's an income state tax in D.C. because D.C. is not a state. So D.C. is actually a district, so they're not a state. But anyways, um, so it wouldn't make sense. So that's why people move to places like Florida and Texas. The best thing they got going on there is there's no income state tax or whatnot. So it is what it is. How you doing, young lady? All right, so that is a, that is what a lot of people consider a con, all right? So a pro. You have a lot of um, universities. You have a lot of entry-level jobs where a person... Can go from being a janitor or working at a fast food spot to working at a cell phone store they end up getting an administrative job with the county government local state government um, corporation federal government things of that nature it's not even just um from a jobs perspective it's just from an internship perspective um and so that that is a major um pro and then if you have a skilled trade you're a person that you know you're in construction you're definitely not going to be um, begging for any jobs if you're um, actually um, if you're a CDL driver, you're definitely making, if you're in the transportation business, period, you're making some serious money, especially by living in Woodbridge. There's a big transportation hub right um, in Springfield, Virginia, which is about, if not 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes away from Woodbridge. So you, um, as a driver, as a warehouse worker, as a uh, manager, whatever have you, um, heck, even the person that works in IT. So th it's a big, big, big con. I mean, a big, big pro where everybody has the opportunity to make something of themselves if they want to, regardless of the situation. All right, big con, traffic, traffic, and more traffic. Um, it's fairly predictable, because I've been to New York and I've been to LA, I've been to Atlanta, I can never time the traffic in Atlanta, I can never time the traffic in New York, I can definitely can't time the traffic in Los Angeles. But I, like, I, I was able to time the traffic in Portland, Seattle, 
um, even Houston, but I cannot time the traffic um, in in um, Atlanta and I cannot time it in LA for the life of me. But traffic is a big deal, you know, because un- unlike, you know, the whole DMV, unlike um, Georgia, unlike um, Texas, unlike California, it's not as spread out. There's more clutter in the whole DMV area, period. The, the states aren't as, the, the DMV area, as far as the metro area that's, that connects to Washington, D.C., there's not as much land, and they, they all, they're forever having a real, um, a real estate, forever having a road project to be worked on. Um, for, to, I, they've been working, like, I think they finally finished doing construction in the Springfield Mixing Bowl two years ago, which they, it was like a 30-year project. I think as long as I was a child, I could remember them always doing, they call it the Mixing Bowl they're always working on something. So it's, it's phenomenal. So the, the chat, it's hard to time. And then, um, another con before I get to another pro, then when it comes to being able to, um, you know, if you want to go out, have a good time, you know, before a pandemic, during the pandemic, after the pandemic, um, even though it's not after the pandemic, because it's still going on, it's not going to ever go anywhere, but, um, trying to, you know, if you want to see a comedy show, you want to see a concert, nine times out of 10, it's not going to be fun. Nine times out of, I mean, it's not as far as trying to get there and get back. Um, nine times out of ten, if you're trying to find parking in Washington D.C., whoo, God bless you. And if you do, uh, because majority living in Woodbridge, majority of the fun venues are either are in Washington D.C. or it might be in um, at the National Washington National Harbor, which is actually on the Maryland side of the river. Or you have you might find something in Fairfax County, um, but you know, trying to trying to have more. I've had more fun in Phoenix. I've had more fun in, in um, I've had more fun in uh, Los Angeles. I've had more fun in Houston than I, I've ever had in the DMV. So I'm just gonna keep it uh, keep it real on that one. So that's a that's a con. All right, another pro. A lot of jobs, um, and it goes back to the the economics of it all. Well, you know what? I want to say that a pro. Uh, it's a great diverse area. So if you can't get past the traffic and you can't get pr- past the price of food. You can actually find certain decent good restaurants to eat at, but for the most part, you're going to one, pay a lot more, and two, you're going to have to drive at least 40 min- 30 to 40 minutes out of your way. And because of traffic, it can turn into an hour to an hour and a half and whatnot. So that's just something to think about. I think that's why in the DMV area as a whole, DoorDash and um, Grubhub is very, and Uber Eats is very popular because with the pandemic, it just made life easier to not have to leave your house and whatnot. So, so that, is a, um, that, can be a, that can be a pro because of the amount of, of food that one can consume. I mean, as far as getting a different variety, because you have a great diverse group of people, a lot of African Americans, a lot of uh, people from Central South America, the Caribbean, Africa, Asia, Middle East, whatever have you, all over the world. You know, it's like this is, it's you know, the DMV is just as diverse as New York, um, Florida. You know, Texas is getting that way. California, et cetera. Most of the ma- major metropolitan areas of the United States is pretty diverse and whatnot. So, um, I look at it like that. But major, major con: cost of living. When it comes to housing, since I can remember, um, because um, as far as housing, the, the prices of homes have always been outrageous and whatnot. Um, and then obviously with inflation going on, it makes it even that much more so. I mean, like I always say, going to the when I go to the grocery store, I spend um, up, almost up to two hundred dollars on myself. But I can just imagine with somebody with four or five kids. I've seen a woman spend four or five hundred dollars one time. And I'm just like, okay, I, I couldn't tell if she had the EBT card or whatever, but if you do, it is what it is. But I, all I could say is cost of living is not, it hasn't, this area isn't on the cusp of California. It's not on the cusp of New York, but it's like, here's New York and California, and here's the DMV area. So it's like it inches a little closer every year, but then those areas inch a little higher too. So it's always on that cusp and whatnot. So if you're looking for cheap living, this is not the place for you, all right? But pro major pro is that i love the fact that people are about their business here people don't mind having a good time but i think i can i can um, say a lot of my work ethic and discipline not only came from my 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 uh, parents but it came from me being in an environment where you have to be about your business because there's certain parts of the country where it's cool to be a bum it's cool to just be basic and whatnot no in the dmv area woodbridge virginia you got to be about your business you got to be about your money and i'm not just talking about getting a higher income and saving your money and being cheap you got to be about um, increasing your income. You got to be about increasing your assets. You have no choice. So I, I respect the fact that um, Woodbridge, Virginia, because of the cost of living and because of the atmosphere, I see people willing and dealing and making deals all the time and whatnot. So the, to me, that is a, that is a big pro. Um, and to even add another pro, 
Um, I love to see the fact that um, you don't see this as much in Woodbridge. I think it's happening a little bit, but you definitely see this in Washington, D.C., Prince George's County, Maryland, and whatnot. Um, a lot of black-owned businesses, banks, you know, and uh, group economics. So I respect that. Um, and like I said, I respect the, the diversity that, that happens. I, res I respect the fact that a lot of people, you get a chance uh, to learn about various different other cultures and whatnot uh, because you're, you're surrounded by diversity. And another pro another um, big pro is that unlike the rest of the country, I think the rest of the country is getting like this now, but unlike other parts of the country, the DMV is always, and I think this is uh, because of the military and the federal government, which is a good thing, the DMV has always been a mixed neighborhood kind of place. You know, I didn't grow up in a um, all black neighborhood. I didn't grow up in an all white neighborhood. I grew up in a, a mixed, diverse neighborhood. I didn't learn until I got older that actually, you know, pe people in a sense kind of grew up segregated, even though by law they weren't segregated. It's just how those communities were. Certain people that grew up in D.C., they grew up in Baltimore, they grew up in New York and whatnot. I remember a um, family member of mine from New York, He's um, he um, told me it was odd um, seeing various different other cultures, this is when I was like 12, in the neighborhood because he was from New York and he, was, he just wasn't used to it and whatnot. And I remember I used to work with a gentleman who was an IT specialist and he, he was from um, Brooklyn. And this is before Brooklyn was gentrified. He was like, the one thing he liked about living in Woodbridge, Virginia was that, you know, when he lo looked outside of his door, all his neighbors were various different, you know, from various different backgrounds and whatnot. And I know it's like that in most major metropolitan areas now, but back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, it wasn't that much so. But now, I mean, you go to any major city now, most neighborhoods are, are for the most part mixed. So it is what it is. So that's my, that's my aspects of the pros and cons of living in Woodbridge, Virginia and whatnot. If you have any pros and cons you want to list that I did not mention, please list that in the comment section. Because, I, you know, hey, at the end of the day, it has its good parts, it has its bad parts, like any other place in the world. Uh, my friend Adrian that you see behind me, make sure I go down. My friend you see behind me, he always says, he calls Woodbridge a parking lot for a reason because... The main reason I end on this note is because most most people um, in Woodbridge have a I go to work and I go home mentality. And when it comes to going out and having a good time at any age, it, it's like it's become a chore. <laughs> in, in living in Woodbridge, living in any of the DMV area, it's become a chore. But I I don't find that to be the same case when I go to other parts of the country and whatnot. So maybe it's just because I grew up in Woodbridge. So but it is what it is. So do the great thing for thing. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And as I always, say. Make money moves or you're going to live bro like a fool. Take care, family.